Now here to shed, uh, shed some light on the personalized spam text messages we have with us via Zoom, cybersecurity analyst Art Samaniego. Good evening and welcome to The Big Story, Art. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Okay, first, give us an idea here. I mean, spam messages have been proliferating since the pandemic started and has yes. evolved in various ways. And now you have these messages containing names. What could be the possible data source here? So, before, scammers used the shotgun method. So they used SMS casters, SMS blasters to send messages. But now, they have leveled up. They're now using our names. Mm -hmm. Tapos ang nakikita namin dito, the source could be data leaks mm -hmm. from companies or from um, from messaging apps. So yun lang yun lang ang yun lang nakikita nating dahilan because telco will not sell our data to anyone because they will be accountable to the National Privacy Commission. And the Philippines National Privacy Commission is one of the strictest uh, privacy commission in the world. So mananagot sila pag binenta nila yan. So hindi pwedeng ang telco ang source nito. And lately, there was no data leak from either Globe or Smart. So hindi galing sa kanila. But there were data leaks in the past like Facebook. In 2019, there were two, there were 88,000 uh, Facebook users in the Philippines that was leaked with phone numbers, address, uh, names, complete names, and, and, and company. So, ito yung pwede maging source ng mga uh, scammers. Art, have we been able to identify uh, possible or, or close in on possible data leaks and sources? Given the format of the text messages, what has been revealed? Uh, and is uh, or are contact tracing forms a part of that list? So, contact tracing forms, definitely not. So hindi siya kasama. Mm -hmm. So safe yung mga contact tracing form na for this for this ano ha for this uh, well for this problem. So in uh, in 2020 there was a problem where uh, scammers send job offers. That was because of the leak in uh, WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Pero ngayon, etong nangyayari ngayon, uh, well, uh, my wife is using different names in every social media accounts that uh -huh, uh -huh. he has. And we noticed that uh, the one sending the, the message and mentioning the full name, it's using the uh, 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 one app, one messaging app. So particular dun sa app na yun yung pangalan niya. Uh -huh. And it's not only uh, exclusive to her, pero yung mga ibang cybersecurity analysts and uh, cybersecurity practitioners also noticed that the name being used in sending that scam SMS uh, messages came from Viber. Mm. So ito yung pinitignan namin, although we have no definite proof yet, pero parang sa Viber nang gagaling siya. Mm -hmm. So sisiguraduhin pa namin to, titignan pa namin. Pero lahat ng mga uh, nakatanggap ng scam SMS message na may complete name, when we check, usually meron silang Viber accounts. Mm -hmm. Now, Art, how wide is this? I mean, you did mention this is an experience of your wife at the same time. So other mm -hmm. cybersecurity experts say, na experience na rin ng marami -raming tao. But give us an idea, really, how wide is this? At the same time, is it really just Viber? Because there are some who theorize or at least speculate that, you know, this might actually be sourced from e wallet platforms as well. Uh, well, my, my wife and my friends have e wallet uh, accounts also. Pero, yung pangalan specific yung pangalan eh. so iba-iba talaga yung pangalan na ginagamit nila mm -hmm. so most probably as of now all information that we have says that this is not coming from e-wallet or uh, shopping apps or the contact tracing forms mm -hmm. okay with that said how dangerous is this for users of that messaging app um, is this uh, does this mean that even our messages are in danger of being leaked around mm -hmm. No, it's not uh, because uh, Viber messages are safe. It's uh, encrypted, so wala walang walang problema don mm -hmm. sa sa mga messages. The problem is, uh, well, they have identified that your number belong to your name. So that's uh, your name plus your number is uh, PII or personally identifiable information, which should be protected. 
So as of now, although we have no proof yet, we're looking at Viber, pero sana hindi, pero yun yung mm -mm. all our, our information now points to points to Viber. Mm -hmm. How do you think this scenario, at least should this not be remedied, how do you think this would escalate? Now we have names. What could be the pos uh, possible future scenario here when it comes to spam text messages? So the purpose of scammers, why they're sending text messages and um, uh, fake emails or messages is that to get your accounts, to get your trust, so that you would divulge your uh, name or uh lag in name and passwords mm -hmm. so yun lang yung, yun, yun lang yung gusto nila so before it's we call it the shotgun approach wherein they just blast messages to anyone and then hoping that somebody would answer back pero ngayon meron ng pangalan and because of that maraming maniniwala na ah, this 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 is really this message is really coming from my bank or from from my telco because of that name mm -hmm. So yun lang, yun lang yung magiging effect nila. Pag naniwala ka, kasi binanggit yung pangalan mo, mabibiktima ka. So you need to be very careful in in uh, clicking the links or or sending reply to these uh, messages. Pero ang pinakamagandang gawin, if you receive these messages, do not answer, do not engage. So ignore it. All right. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much for, for the information. And let's all keep ourselves protected and secure, especially when it comes to our data.